friend request after friend request after friend request, all telling you the same thing, to check their bio. Now I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. What's inside this bio? Is it a scam, is it an advertisement, or is it all of the above? And what is Discord even doing about this? And finally, how do these bots even work? Because they're not as straightforward as you might think. So diving headfirst into the brain damage, I clicked on someone's profile and apparently someone leaked me in this Discord server and I was quite surprised. I held my breath and I was shocked because it's actually just a Roblox Discord server, which is filled with the most hardcore Roblox gangsters. Let me make that straight. You know, this is some scary stuff. You can tell they're gangsters because they have role names like Assassin and Felon. I'm definitely scared of these loser uh, gangsters, Roblox gangsters. But the edgelord doesn't stop there because once again, I've been doxxed in another Discord server apparently. And uh, I don't know why I need to say this, but no, you haven't been doxxed. I had to talk to a couple people who thought they were actually doxxed. Now, those Roblox criminals, those gangsters are definitely scary, but it gets even worse than this one. We have no rules. We're gonna see a lot of degeneracy. <sighs> So are all these bots just advertisements wrong? It actually goes deeper. But first, we have to talk about how Discord has really failed us because there is a reason why they use bios. So just to lay out some ground rules. First off, adding people with a whole bunch of Discord bot accounts and using check my bio to advertise is against Discord's terms of service. It falls under spamming. Obviously, it still occurs on the platform because Discord loves enforcing their trust and safety, but it gets way worse than that. Here's an example. We have someone with a bio that says, I am nine years old, I am a kid, I love games, I play games in Roblox. And if any of my neighbors heard me say that, they would be extremely concerned and probably try to get me kicked out of the neighborhood. Now, we did have a good Samaritan that tried to get this person banned off Discord, because Discord is really a place filled with vile people. <sighs> So this good Samaritan wrote up a fat Discord trust and safety ticket. And this is probably going to rile up a whole bunch of conspiracy theorists, but Discord basically said that we can't do anything unless we get a message link. And of course, in a Discord bio, you can't just get a message link. That's not how it works. But this person clarified, there is no message. It's literally in their About Me bio. Like, look in their bio. It says that they are nine years old. Also, if you want to hear about a whole bunch of people getting randomly banned off Discord, make sure to subscribe. Ooh, I nailed that really well. But despite this clarification, uh, Discord said, nah dog, we ain't doing anything, and they actually eventually closed the ticket. So it should be pretty clear that you can't really rely on someone getting banned if their bio has something that breaks the terms of service, because Discord trust and safety, of course, needs a message link, or they just cease to do anything. But here's the really big issue. If you have someone that's advertising a Discord server, and you go to the actual Discord server, and there's nothing really wrong with it, Discord does absolutely nothing. And I could say that very confidently because I talked about a free Nitro scam back in the day where basically you would have to click on this bot and it would have the permissions to join servers for you. And what server did it take you to? Well, it's this Cherry server that has 395,000 members and uh, Discord did absolutely nothing about it. And just for clarification, no, I'm not Kazahi's friend. <laughs> they are very annoying. <laughs> they drive me up the wall. However, not all is doom and gloom because sometimes the scam is just perfect enough where it can be reported. And that's where I get into even more messages that these check my bio bots have. Yo, is this person they posted in discord.gg slash robux giveaway you? Question mark? Man, this definitely doesn't ring scam server, but when you join the server, guess what, baby? You have a Roblox giveaway with a bot where if you try verifying, it will once again be an OAuth bot that will join servers for you. Now, when I try to be a silly goose and try to authorize the bot, uh, the website's brokey. I don't know what's going on. It Brokey. Interested in crypto and want to earn? Join and learn. And when I join Crypto Days, it's a two-for-one scam special. They do pump signals, where basically they tell you to buy a whole bunch of cryptocurrency, and that will make the price go up. And of course, then everyone will sell and make a whole bunch of money. But what actually happens is that this big boy Bitcoin buys this coin like three weeks ago, and they just hold on to it. And they tell people to pump the price. And while everyone's buying this coin for an inflated price, this person is selling it to the suckers. And you as the buyer will either make a very small amount of money or you'll get scammed and just lose a lot of money. It's a very high risk, low reward investment. It's the exact opposite of what you'd want. And I think the best part about this, the, the second part of the two for one special, is that they show you a pump guide and they tell you to go to this cryptofina.com website. It, it just had a whole bunch of red flags. 
just stay away from it. So with these types of bots that tell you to look at my bio and they send you these scam servers, the way to take them down is that you can just report the messages in the scam server. For example, I could go to pump info and just copy this message link and go to Discord Trust and Safety and tell them, look, it's a cryptocurrency signal group. This is against the terms of service. And to be honest, you'll have a fantastic success rate if your tickets are somewhat coherent. If they're not... Yeah, I'll take a, uh... And, uh, um... Now, the truth is, is that not everyone wants to fight scams and talk to Discord trust and safety. It's a very frustrating experience, and people would rather just not have these bots friend them in the first place. And there is a way to stop them. Go to your user settings, then you want to go to friend requests, and you should probably have all these enabled if you were just a normal Discord user. But what you want to do is you want to start off by disabling friend requests from everyone. But if you keep on getting more friend requests, then turn off friend requests from server members. And if you still keep on getting friend requests, requests for some reason, then you can turn off all friend requests and you will not have to deal with random people or random scam bots adding you. It would just be better if Discord dealt with these bio bots in the first place, but uh, we're on Discord, that doesn't happen. But it is important to know what Discord might try to do to fix this, and to understand how they might fix it, we need to understand how these bots work. And thankfully for me, very lazy me, I didn't have to look far, because these read my bio bots also advertise their own advertisement services. <laughs> so we have this one discord server here where basically it'll give you youtube likes and comments and subscribers and stuff and by the way don't do this for youtube because it'll absolutely annihilate your algorithm and you'll die by susan with jicky's hands so just not a good thing but looking through their channels they did have profile promo logs and this got me excited but it's a locked channel this was a dead end now you might be thinking doesn't just discord have to look for these bot profiles on your discord server and that is a fantastic idea that i shoved down your throat and you you would be right, but we, there's a little bit of nuance. First off, Discord is working on an anti-DM advertising concept. This is a concept from Discord, which means they haven't developed anything. This is just an idea that they asked the community, what do you think about this? Is this cool or not? And also, I might get in trouble for posting this, so uh-oh. What it does is that basically, if you get raided, Discord will automatically say, oh, your server's on lockdown, and you can block people from joining your Discord server. Nothing new. But the new thing is that you can block people from sending new direct messages to non-friends. And by extension, what it also allows you to do is look for suspicious members. And it'll tell you if one account has a high number of new DMs within the past 24 hours. So this would allow you to see all these people DM advertising their dead Discord server and just ban them outright, because no one wants to deal with that. So of course, if they already have this functionality, then all Discord would have to do is just monitor all these new friend requests and flag them and let you know. Are we saved? No. Wow, I set us up for failure there. The way these bots work is a little more complex than that. Now, I know how they work because I use my brain because I'm just a mega brain discord moderator. Just kidding, I'm stupid. But instead of my crap explanation, why don't I just look through more of these bots and check their bios and look? Like I said before, these advertising check my bio bots also advertise their check my bio bot services. Joining this discord server, they have a friend request channel and my god, baby. A discord friend request advertising targets members of any server high conversion rate, which I will be crippling with this video, and how does it work? You will choose a server that you want to spam friend requests to. And what these people will do is that they will scrape the members of that Discord server. So what that means is they'll basically join the Discord server on one single alt account, which is extremely hard to detect. Then they'll open up their little console and type in a little bit of special code. And it's actually not really special, it's very basic code. But what it does is that it gets the user ID of every single person in your Discord server. And they put that into their special little tool, and what it does is that it gets a whole bunch of random Discord bot accounts to send you a friend request on any one of those accounts in that list to advertise. But the most important thing about this advertising method is that those bots that add you, they aren't in any mutual servers. And since they aren't in any servers, that means that Discord's little concept of doing this, if they applied it to friend requests, would do absolutely nothing, because you can't catch people in your Discord server if they're not even in your server. But all that wonderful, wonderful spam is just $5 per 1,000 cent friend requests. And for any of the morons that are going to spend $5 or more to advertise people with friend requests, just keep in mind, this is how it works like a normal person. The second I see a bot with check my bio and it's advertising your YouTube channel or whatever, I instantly think it's some sort of scam. Now, overall, the sad reality is that if you don't disable friend requests, you are still going to get spammed with these check my bio bots because Discord, it seems like they're not really doing anything. And I really wish that Discord 
Discord starts cracking down on this behavior, but at the end of the day, it's the responsibility of me and you to spread the word about these bots and tell people just to avoid them. The easiest thing you have to do is just turn off friend requests. Anyways, cutie pie, uh, you could like the video if you liked it and like it if you didn't like it. <laughs> forced to do it at this point and does subscribe if your wife left you just like me i love you tons and tons Mwah.